and welcome in Eamorg Studio for SOLIDWORKS. In this particular example, I will go over how the 2012 Nissan LEAF motor is simulated inside Eamorg Studio for SOLIDWORKS. Before I begin, let me briefly describe our model here. We have a 2D geometry of a PMSM equipped with 48 slots. It has two layers of permanent magnets where one layer is radially segmented, while the other layer is V-shaped. Its single layer winding is made of three phases. Let us see how we can use Eamorx 2D software to understand the performance of the 2012 Nissan LEAF motor under no and onload operation. Eamorx 2D is an add-in product to SOLIDWORKS. So once you design your model geometry inside SOLIDWORKS, you can do the electromagnetic simulation right inside SOLIDWORKS. The different no and onload studies of the Nissan LEAF motor are organized under the EAMORKS 2D Manager tab. For example, we will first consider the cogging torque study. To do a transient magnetic study, we can just create a study. Each study has a particular name. For each transient magnetic study, you need to specify the duration, means the start, end, and step time. This study is coupled to rotational motion. Now when you couple to rotational motion, you need first to specify the velocity in degree per second. The rotor angle is automatically imported in Eamorx 2D transient study. Then, you need to specify the moving components consisting of the rotor sub-assembly and the bed part covering all the rotatory components. Next, we will look at defining materials for the Nissan LEAF motor components. Here are the permanent magnets. We can edit the customizable magnet material. The material properties, including the coercivity and the remanence, are listed in the material properties table. Since the magnets are rectangular shaped, their coercivity directions are defined according to local coordinate systems. Now, if we edit the coercivity direction of one permanent magnet, we can see the selected coordinate system, the Cartesian direction type, as well as the direction which is reversed according to the y-axis. The rotor and stator cores are made of the AZ1010 steel material. We can edit this material to view its properties. The lamination properties are characterized by a given stacking factor. For the shaft, band and outer air, the defined material is air, whereas we have the copper material for the coils. It's always important to define the boundary conditions when simulating your motor. In our case, we have a null magnetic vector potential applied on the outer edge of the air region. And, to compute the torque, we define the virtual work by selecting the moving faces. When simulating the cogging torque analysis, it's also possible to perform the study without defining the windings. The windings 
are defined in the winding section. Our motor had three phases. In every winding, we have inner and outer coils. Now if we edit the phase A winding, we can view the winding properties. Every winding has a name. The current type is set as current driven coil. Here we can specify the number of parallel paths. In our case, we have two. In the current source tab, we have a null excitation. We can also edit the A plus coil to check its properties. Here we selected the faces for which we will apply the A plus excitation. In the general properties tab, we define the wire diameter as well as the number of turns. For the A minus coils, the current direction is reversed. The same procedure is done for the rest of the coils. EMORC's 2D transient magnetic study offers you the possibility to check the motion details, means the speed and angle variation with respect to time. In the results section, we can observe the cogging torque versus the rotor angle. Here, we can observe two periods of the cogging torque with a maximum value of 8 newton meters and an average value of 0 newton meter. We can also visualize the flex density mapping at no load operation for the first rotor position. One can observe that the maximum flex density is obtained at the rotor pole edges of the second layer of the PMs. Next, the no load study is derived from the cogging torque study. When we edit the study properties, we will see that the compute circuit parameters option is checked. This enables the user to compute the flux linkage, resistance, and also inductance. The end time in the time duration section is set to one period, which means one divided by the frequency. In our case, the frequency is 50 Hz. In the motion settings section, the constant velocity is defined as 120 multiplied by the frequency multiplied by 6 divided by the number of rotables. Now, we can observe the flux linkage versus time curve. The maximum obtained value of the flux linkage is equal to 89 milliweber. We can also check the induced voltage versus time curve. From the three phased induced voltage curves, we can observe a non sinusoidal shape due to the harmonics. The same study can also be copied and further used for the definition of the on-load studies of the Nissan Leaf motor. Next step consists in defining the winding excitation. Two on-load studies have been performed based on the coil type. At first, we simulated the on-load study with current-fed coils. Now if we edit the phase A winding, we can observe here that the coil type is set to current driven. In the current source tab, the current source is set to sinusoidal. The current properties are then defined. Here, 
we can see that the sinusoidal frequency is equal to 50 Hz and the current amplitude is equal to 250 amperes. The delay time is different than zero. We can also observe the phase B and also phase C windings which are shifted by 120 degree and 240 degree with respect to phase A. Let us now check the results following the simulation of the onload current fed coil study. We will be interested in the onload torque versus time. The onload torque curve shows a maximum torque value of 165 Nm and an average torque value of approximately 152 Nm. Next, we will verify the three-phased input current versus time. From this curve, we can see the defined sinusoidal currents, which present three shifted phases, A, B, and C. We can also take a look at the onload flux density mapping. One can see that the maximum flux density value is achieved at the rotor pole edges and the stator teeth have higher flux density when facing the magnets. The second onload study is performed for the voltage fed coils. We can edit the phase A winding to check the excitation properties. Here. We have defined the voltage-driven coils as the coil type. In the voltage source, the voltage is set to sinusoidal. The voltage source properties are then defined. We have here the frequency of 50 Hz as previously defined. And we have also defined the pulse delay time as well as the magnitude of the sinusoidal voltage source. The phase B and C windings are defined in the same way, but with a shift of 120 degree each time with respect to phase A. Mind you that the coil's repartition is the same for all the performance, no and onload studies. In the results section, we can check the three-phased current versus time curve. This curve shows an increasing load torque till 12 milliseconds time. Then, it reaches the convergence and starts oscillating with an average value of 100 newton meters. Eamorx 2D is an easy-to-use software that helps you to do an effortless simulation of your motor geometry. It offers you as well a wide range of output results that can help you to understand the behavior of the motor with certain initial specifications and defined geometry variables. And today we live in a simulation world. Eamorx 2D simulation software offers you a solution to the real motor challenges easily and efficiently. At the end of this video, I would like to thank you for watching. And for more information, you can also visit our website.